Coronavirus concerns are sparking panic for some, stockpiling and taking extreme measures to protect themselves. And it's likely your children will have questions, so how should you talk to them about the coronavirus? 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell is working for you, getting answers from the experts. Coronavirus concerns are spreading just as rapidly as the virus itself. We all imagine the worst. That's what people do. You know, we always catastrophize. And so because of that, many people have really high anxiety levels. But that anxiety may start spreading to your children. Many schools in Southwest Virginia now making plans to close for a day just so teachers can prepare for a possible two-week shutdown if the virus shows up. As your children hear about coronavirus, odds are they'll have questions. But how do you approach that conversation? We went to the experts to find out. We're going to be fine. Dr. Robert Tressman is the chair of psychiatry at Carillion. He says it's crucial for you to be well informed, not just for your kids' well being, but your own. Children, as most parents know, reflect the parents' level of anxiety. If you're anxious, your kids are going to become anxious. Schools closing could be a scary thought for kids, but it's important to emphasize what you're doing to stay safe. We're trying to engage our children in protecting the community. By staying home from school, you're doing your part in helping keep other people healthy. And remember, children learn by example. So simply telling your kids to wash your hands is not going to be nearly as useful as showing them that you're doing it. Preparation at all ages that may be your best protection. In Roanoke, Jessica Jewell, 10 News, working for you. Dr. Tressman says that parents should also start preparing for the possibility of their children having to stay at home for two weeks should these schools have to shut down.